Welcome back to my channel for another episode. In this video, I will show you first 5 Octave Method programming for absolute beginners to learn. If you are interested in this topic, please stay tuned. You know what to do to support my channel. The first example is to ask a user for a number and display twice the magnitude of the number. When you run the script, it will display enter a number in command window and user will enter a number, for example 3. Then it will display the number 6 is double your input number 3 in the command window. To write such a program, we need to write a script to receive a number from user. To receive the number, we will use a built-in function input. The info function displays a text in the command window for your own choice and asks the input from the user. You can provide either numbers or text for your input, which will be saved in the variable. In this example, you can display enter a number and save it in the variable x. To ask a user by displaying the text, enter a number, you can use x equals input enter a number. The number received from the user will be saved in the variable x. Now, I will use a variable y to save the twice x by having y equal to x. Then, I will use a printf function to display the number y is double your input number x. Please note that backslash n at the end represent enter and n stands for the new line. Unless you add this, the prompt will be appear in the same line. Once you run, the command window will ask enter a number and as an example, I will enter the number 3. Unfortunately, you can see the number y is double your input number x. However, what you need to display is the values of x and y, x equal to 3 and y equal to 6, not x and y themselves. If you use a single quotation mark, the texts are considered as a string including x and y. To display the values of the variable x and y, you can use specifier such as %d. %d shows the number as an integer. Each specifier requires the variable to display. Here we have two variables to display and I will use two specifiers. I will replace x and y with percentage %d and I will add comma x and comma y at the end. Now when I run it again and enter 3 and you can see what you expect. Next example is to write a script to receive the temperature in Fahrenheit from user and display temperature in Celsius. For example, I can provide the temperature of 80 in Fahrenheit and it will display the equivalent temperature 26.7 in Celsius. To ask a user by displaying the text enter temperature in Fahrenheit, you can use f equals input enter temperature in Fahrenheit. The temperature in Fahrenheit from the user will be saved the variable f. The next step is to use the Fahrenheit to Celsius conversion formula, which is C equals F minus 32 multiplied by 5 divided by 9. The last step is to use F printf temperature in Fahrenheit is equivalent temperature in Celsius, comma F, comma C. To display the final temperature conversion result in command window. Now you can see I use 0.1 in front of specifier f and this means that I use floating number to display the number with one decimal digit. When you run the script, you can see the text message asking the inputs from the user. I provide the temperature of 80 in Fahrenheit and I can see the equivalent temperature of 26.7 in degrees Celsius. Next example is to calculate the area and perimeter of a circle based on the radius of r. For example, you can ask the radius of the circle and then you can provide the radius of 1, then you can display the area and perimeter of the circle. To ask a user by displaying the text enter a radius of circle, 
you can use r equals input enter radius of circle. I'll use the variable a for the area and a equals pi r squared. The pi is the built-in constant pi. We can also calculate the parameter p by using p equals 2 pi r. Similarly, we can use at printf the area and perimeter of the circle with the radius r, r, area, and perimeter, comma r, comma a, comma p. When you run the script, you can see the text message asking the inputs from the user. I provide the circle radius of 1, and I can see the area and perimeter of the circle. In this example, we will ask the user to receive two numbers and display the message which number is greater than the other or equal to each other. For example, you provide 1 and 2 for two numbers, and you can display 1 is smaller than 2. If you provide 2 and 2, and you can display 2 is the same as 2. To write such a program, we need to ask two numbers using input functions. I will use x and y to save two numbers. I will use x equals input enter a first number and y equals input enter a second number. To compare, we can use the conditional statement if. To find more details, you can watch my other tutorial video about if statement that can be found in the right upper corner or description down below. To begin, I start with if followed by x less than y to check x is less than y. Then we can display x is less than y. If x is greater than y, I can also display x is greater than y. Otherwise, I can display x is equal to y and close this if statement by having end at the end. When you run the script, you can provide 1 and 2 for the two numbers to see the text message in the command window. And you can also provide the two numbers as 2 and 2 to see if x is equal to y. Next example is to calculate the area of a circle and rectangle by getting the radius of the circle and the width and height of the rectangle from a user. Then you can display the areas of the circle and rectangle showing which area is bigger than the other. For example, if the radius of the circle is 1 and the width and height of the rectangle are 2 and 3, the area of the circle is smaller than the area of the rectangle. To write the program, we need to ask three numbers using input functions, such as the radius of the circle and rectangle width and height. I will use r and w and h, and then I can use r equal to input, enter radius of circle, w equals input, enter width of the rectangle, h equals input, enter height of the rectangle. To calculate the areas of the circle and rectangle, I'll use pi r square for the circle and w multiplied by h for the rectangle. To compare, we can use a conditional statement if. To find more details, you can watch my other tutorial video about if statement that can be found in the upper right corner or the description down below. To begin, I start with if followed by a circle less than a rectangle to see the circle area is a smaller than the rectangle area. Then we can display the circle area is smaller than the rectangle area. If the circle area is then rectangle area, you can display the circle area is larger than rectangle area. Otherwise, you can display the circle area is same as the rectangle area. Then you can wrap up with if statement by having end at the end. When you run the script, you can provide 1 for r, 2 for width, 3 for height, and you can see the circle area is smaller than rectangle area. When you run the script with the radius of 2 and width of 2, height of 3, you can see that the circle area is larger than the rectangle area. Thanks for watching this video until the end, and please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch similar videos in future. Thumbs up if you enjoy the video. 
Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.